I'm guessing, and Fantasy's not in any single individual league, so individual league-wise, I'm guessing Kanata's getting all the all the advice from Box from Alovis, so who's trying to pull a Boxer here, trying to use Ghost to lock down those carriers, moving those guys and just pick them off. Of course, that'll really help him out if he manages to do this. Going to be a little bit tougher with the Dragoons out in the field. Still Turk being pulled alongside. He's going to try to build up Mineral only. Finally going to take it, get a second mining base going. Then Prasaki going to transition to his Mineral only, possibly going for the island if he feels he can afford it. Best meanwhile, he has almost pretty much mined out that upper right hand. I think he's just kind of building it as a sort of place to put his forces. Meanwhile, taking a real base at the lower right hand position, most likely going to eventually transition to the natural expansion there. More, Just one Rax just producing ghosts at the moment for Kanata. And I'm really just excited to see when the game's... Ooh, Observer's being picked off. I'm really just excited to see when the game sort of a hits the actual next battle phase. Volter's out in the field now and have mines, so they're just going to be... Putting their minds to try to help prevent any sort of push coming in. Also going to help against those Jagoos. Possibly even if they move towards their low right hand position. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I think they might actually do a, cra a lot of damage. They're actually going to be engaged with those carriers. Ah, Vulture's running by. Die, die, die. One Vulture meanwhile is going to go to the low right hand. There are ground forces there. Yeah, German Jagoos, they're going to kill it. But I think, I think that's going to be a clue for Kanata. Kanata's going to think, ah, okay, base. Meanwhile, going to move a Vulture to the lower left hand position. Pick off a pylon. He should have actually... There should be actually nothing coming close to going killing off the vulture to pick off the pylon. So no more carriers are going to be coming into it anytime soon. Four ghosts at this time. Uh, should have cloak. Definitely have lockdown. I'm not quite sure if they have cloak or not. Should have both at this point actually. Gonna have just yeah. Just gonna wait, wait, wait until they have all their stuff ready. First machine. Two, two machine shops. Woo! Two machine shops out for Kanata. I think he's actually attacking. Oh, he's taking. Oh God, no! He is gonna go for nukes. Oh, he's going to take out his comms decision. Oh. Oh, God. Don't tell me. Okay, imagine this, ladies and gentlemen. Nuclear silo, by the way. Yeah. Think this. Carriers. Lockdown. Nuke. Think that. He's going to have enough ghosts for that. Just going to lock down every single carrier. Just nuke the damn things. He's going to move it with a ghost, which is going to get spotted by an observer. Oh. That's just going to get followed. Best like, oh no, you didn't. He's going to move. Where is it moving that? I think it might be moving that towards the lower left hand. Pick off something. Yeah, nuclear solid just being ready. And yeah, that ghost is going to be followed his entire trip. Oh, dear Jesus. Should have been more careful, Kanata, really. That's why you want those comm set stations. Those observers are all over the place. Zealots are going to come in, just intercept it. Hello, ghosts. Were you thinking of going somewhere? Yeah, just kind of waiting, hiding in position. Yeah, goodbye. Blah, blah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, this is bad because he, Kanata has now revealed his hand just by moving out one. I honestly feel he's being greedy. I honestly feel the strategy is silly. I think going for lockdowns would actually be a lot smarter at this. For one thing, it's something I haven't seen in an age. For another thing, I think it's more viable. I think going nukes off the economy has now is quite silly, very boxer-esque, which is cool, sure, but it, I don't think it's going to win him the game. I really don't think. There are observers all over the place. Best is going to be incredibly careful with all of it, with all of his observers, and if Kanata's going to have any chance of doing any sort of damage, he has to move out go lots of ghosts, all the ghosts, all over the place, try to avoid those observers. Try not to get him caught. Yeah, gonna get another ghost caught by an observer. Oh, dear God. You're just failing horribly at this point, Kanata. Your ghost isn't doing anything. Now it's just standing around. Just really, I feel you should have kept that freaking comm side station, getting some more ghosts out. Just continue a ghost here and there, a ghost here and there, getting some lockdowns going, because really, you're just not helping yourself at the moment. Waiting for the first nuke. And meanwhile, Best is just moving all of his forces back. At the very least, you're delaying Best's push. Congratulations, and you're doing absolutely nothing else. So, doom -de -doom 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 -doom, waiting for the ghost to die. I think Best might actually wait until he starts to activate the nuke and then kills him the second that happens. Make Kanata waste the nuke. Second, second ghost can move to the upper right hand position. There are, I'm not quite sure what is there to defend. There are observers there that most likely spotted the ghost as well. So, Kanata's fresh new box risk strategy not looking too good. He did get his match expansion going, so he's meanwhile just getting some tanks going into the air, but really, other than that, he's not really doing much. Observer and Dragoons are going to spot that Go is going to pick it off. So, this has been an absolute waste of tech and time.
Oh god, whenever seriously, whenever I see a player go for ghosts and going for nukes, if it's not boxer, I just get absolutely exasperated and just go, ugh, come on. Even if it's boxer, I still go boxer. Seriously, skip the nukes and win the game. How about that? A lot of tanks. Finally, Kanata's built a very sizable force. Carrier's moving in, though, trying to pick up pick off those tanks. Goliaths are going to be able to engage those. Seriously, how cool would have been right there to have a few ghosts to do some lockdowns. Instantly dead carriers. Come on. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? I'm sorry, I just think it would be freaking awesome. Best, let's see. Mining base, the lower right hand. Six at this point is dead. Gonna expand to the natural expansion at the lower right hand. His upper right hand is also dead. Um, yeah, it just has one mining base. Uh, Kanata has two mining bases, but to best's one. But he has been slowly but surely picking up an army. He has, Kanata at this point has weapons three, so... Those carriers, without any sort of... Well, any sort of armor shield upgrades are going to be taking a heavy bit of damage from those glass Especially if the glass just focus on the carriers moving, focus on the carriers, carriers will die very, very quickly. And I honestly feel that's what should be done. You're going to sacrifice some glass but picking off those carriers alongside is damn good in my opinion. But yeah, this point kind of is just kind of camping out, waiting, doing absolutely nothing, and neither player is going to really be able to do anything at this point. Just kind of putting himself, continuing his defensive posture at his main. Carrier is going to move towards the island, uh, 9 o'clock island, going to pick off the engineering base. No more turrets for a little while. That's a s small plus, I suppose. If Kanata wants to move out, he can't plant turrets all over the place for a little while. Meanwhile, more gateways being added in. At the main, towards the low right hand position, a lot of gateways. So he's just going to continue his ground army production. Yeah, Best is kind of getting a ground army at this point. Has a few carriers up. Not quite sure whether he built a pylon towards the lower left hand to get, continue his uh, carrier production, but not even sure if that pylon's actually taken out. He's been you know, thinking of taking the 12 o'clock island. Kind of audacious from him. Kind of, yeah. Ooh, I'm very close to my enemy's base. Haha, -ha, reinforcement route. Go for it. Dropship's now finally out in the field. He's going to go and take the 9 o'clock island. He definitely needs another base at this point. And try to make sure, hide it, trying to make sure. Oh, Observer, hello. How well spotted. Yeah, those carriers should be moving out right now. And it's interesting they're actually moving left. Okay, dropship. Not going to plant down a base. Actually going to go for some harassment, apparently. Running in south. Meanwhile, no, Best going to take the opportunity to try to do some more harassment with those carriers. They're moving in nothing but those carriers. Going to engage some tanks. Some of the tanks actually being, I think, repaired by Sevees. No, Sevees just standing there not doing anything. Goliath, at the very least, forcing to engage those interceptors. But a lot with a huge interceptor ma uh, count from those carriers. Carriers are very effective at this point. Really wants to focus down something. A uh, dropship, okay, has a ghost inside. So he's going to try that. Did get spotted. But he's desperate to try to do something with it. I mean, he did this. He wasted so much on this so he at least wants to make it somehow viable gonna sort of hide behind the gateway nuke has been launched so you're gonna see oh god this might actually work out holy crap all those probes are gonna die not being pulled off the line best does, has no idea what this is going for probes are not being pulled off the line so we're gonna see a crap ton of probes die right now boom best's currently only mining base getting taken all over <laughs> Oh my, look at base, it's like, you gotta be kidding me. His natural expansion is still mining, but uh, that'll that'll help. That'll help. <laughs> Can be put back up. But uh, that'll help. Another nuke gonna come down. But if he ma if he would manage to nuke the army, if he would manage, I think that base might have thought, he might have thought that it was nuking his army. Losing all of his high Templar, getting all of his high Templar picked off as he's trying to run and getting one storm off, two high Templars off. That actually storming quite a bit, getting some Goliaths, some tanks as well, just trying to peter down this uh, natural defensive position. This is a very small choke, which I think actually in this case might be helping best more than Kanata. Finally observe it in place to help that Zealot go and pick off this damn pesky ghost. Ghost only, yeah, one more hit, one more hit. Ooh, from a cannon, no less. Insult. <laughs> Dropship still in play, and I think best. <laughs> Kanata at this point should possibly be thinking of taking a third. But yeah, preventing uh, mining at the low right and completely clearing it of probes is pretty good. It wasn't like the most saturated base in the world, but it was still one of best important lifelines. Meanwhile, the 12 o'clock for base is starting mining there as well. Uh, also picked up the three o'clock. Picked up the three o'clock island. Not really much. Not really sure how many minerals there are there, but there is a little bit of mining. Still continuing carrier production. Science has a lot in the field for Kanata, so we're going to see what it tries to get. He's going to go for an EMP. Oh, 
EMP, I think. Yeah, he got... Oh, nice EMP on the carriers. Getting all of the carriers there. Now, of course, Best is not going to allow Kanata to just move in and pick him off. But that's a help. It's mean those carriers are not going to be viable.